Hello everyone, this is now Shadow Side. Time to do an all-in-one. The first part will be called Police Routine. Once you watch the following cutscene with the deer, and then you'll find an overturned red truck. Now ignore the path to the left where the deer runs off to. So follow down the main road and look to the left hand side you should notice a barrel and a trail. Once you head down this trail you will find two abandoned trucks. If you go behind the second one you see to the left hand side you will find a barrel and on top of that barrel you will find the police badge. After you found that badge, eventually you will have to go back to report in the found a dead driver. And then at the moment you're sitting in the vehicle waiting for the speeding driver. Um, it will say um, catch the speeding driver, but do not catch him. Just sit here for at least three to four minutes max, and then you'll get the secret ending achievement uh, called Lazy Person. So if you wait here long enough, uh, you'll get the achievement. Once you leave the um, area, you'll get the Lazy Person. When you see the sign called Welcome to Nightwood, this is as soon as you start and gain control of your character. If you look left and jump over, go to the left tree and in the middle between the bunch of trees to the right and there's a tree to the left, but in the middle of that, on the floor, you will see the badge. Now, once you go to the next scene, so once you get in your car and have to refuel, if you go to the left side of the shop, you will find a wanted poster. Click on that to gain the achievement. That is all you have to do. Now just to start in location again, as soon as you start on the vehicle, turn around and go on the main road. This is pretty simple. As soon as you go to the main road and then yeah, you get run down and that will be the achievement. In search of badges, this is police badge number three. From the start location of the vehicle, just backtrack slightly, jump on the barrels and then jump on top of the building. You will find this strange model this stuff on the floor. Then you have to jump on the lamp post and jump over. If you go to the top left of this section, you will find the badge. Now, who was that? So now you have to talk to this guy here and he will ask you to find his cat from him. This is like a side quest. If you look right, you will see a path that leads into the bushes and just continue on. While you're doing the quest, you have to jump on these rocks. Jump on the house and go across the fallen over lamp post. Or electric cable pole. Once you go into the bushes, you will find an abandoned house. Once you go inside, there's not much you can really do. Just go inside and go to the right. And then you'll find a very small figurine laying on the bed. So just interact with that to get the everything is very strange. So now we're going to go for the, the side quest now. So once we've done that. So this is the start of the, the area. So it's very simple to find this cat. So I'm not really going to speak through this part. This is just a very simple to point A to point B. And once you finally get back to the um, where the guy is meant to be, if you go to where he was located, you'll get the achievement. And the final achievement for this level that I found, once you go into the um, the gas station, or the bar, I should say. It's not really a gas station, is it? Well, in my country it's not. 
Okay, go to the dartboard, pick up the dart located on the left side, and this is just a 50-50 throw. For me, I happen to get it straight away, so um, there's no biggie. But if you happen to not get it, just leave the area and come back and try again. And eventually he'll give you the reward. As soon as you get the reward, you'll get the achievement. The first achievement we're going to get is called I'm Interested in Everything. So for this one, we need to search everything possible in the first room of the level. So there will be a computer in front of you with a telephone. There will be a radiator behind you, a refrigerator you got to scan or search. And then there will be on the shelf some paperwork. And bus of computers. Uh, right next to you there's a cleaning trolley. And then on the next table to the right there will be another telephone and the computer you have to search. And then the last two will be the two lockers to the left. Once you have searched the phone and the computer. And like I said, just search the two cabinets and then you'll get the cheering I'm interested in everything. So pretty yeah, much right next to you, there will be a power box. Turn the power box off, turn around, go towards a cleaning trolley and then something just magically falls down and hits you. After that happens, after a few seconds, you'll get the achievement for dizziness. So no, police badges, one or three. Once you found the key to go to the next room, literally as soon as you go through the next door, go left, look on the table or look inside the table, one of the drawers you will find your first police badge. Once you have found the ladder to get to the top, once you're in the crawl space, there will be a long path. You can't do nothing now, just keep going straight. Eventually you'll see a fan directly in front of you and a new vent to the right. If you go left, there is a door. From here, go all the way down to the very bottom and search the lonely desk. And this will be your police badge two or three. Later on in the mission, you'll have to find a red key card or find a key card to proceed on with the level. Once you've found a key in the bathrooms, eventually you'll be in this office type area. There'll be three doors, one to the right, one in front, one to the left. If you go to the right door and go down to the very end, on the shelf in here to the right, you'll see the police badge. So that is it for this level. Once you have done the first part of this mission, and now you're in the second area. Once you're running away from the police um, officers, you will find a downed tree going up the slope right here. So just follow the tree right to the very top, and then you want to go left. You'll find a bridge to the left. Once you do that, get to the very end to find the badge. There we go. The next mission, the abandoned village. As soon as we start the mission, go to the room to the right hand side. Pick up the snow shovel and now leave to go outside. Once you go outside, interact with the floor to start shoveling. This will gain you the achievement good job. What do we have here? So from the starting location outside the house, go to the back of the house and interact on the floor. This will look like a graveyard sort of section. So we can't use the snow shovel, we have to use a different kind of shovel. So now go back to the front of the house and now carry on down the road here. You will notice that there's a house with a red lantern or a lamp on the right. Go to the second house on the right and go inside. In the house, you will find your next shovel. Once you grab the shovel, now go back to the house and go behind it and dig up. But this will be a police badge and you'll find this secret stash.
Once you've done that, you'll gain the achievement. So, there are two achievements here. Once you get near the end of the level, it will give you a choice to build a raft or go to the woods. You have to choose both options. So, the first one I chose is to build the raft and then just reload the level again and then pick the woods. Pretty simple to do. The next level, Ford Legged Friend. I'm not going to speak through this one, but just to give you a heads up what you need to do. I think there's a total of 16 houses that you need to go to. I may be completely wrong, but there's only houses in this one section. So I think it's a block of four houses each side. So there's four on the right, four on the left. I could be completely wrong. I haven't really counted them. But once we get into this village area, you have to knock on every single door in this area. Once you've done that, you'll gain the achievement. Flashbacks. Once you see the police vehicle trying to search for you, you need to make a run for it onto this wooden platform. Once you get on the platform, you want to go right. If you stay to the right-hand side, you should hopefully see the police badge 1 of 3. Still on the wooden platform section, once you actually finish it and safely get over to the other side. Now once you jump off the cliff, you want to stay to the right and literally just stick to the right. Uh, you will run directly into this cave containing the police badge 2 or 3. And there it is. Police badge 3 of 3. Shortly after going through the trees in the last previous section, you will find an abandoned settlement area. So from here you want to go to the top left section inside this area. You will find a small set of stairs leading up onto the wooden platform. Once you're on here, look near the wooden crates to the left. And on the wooden planks on the wall, you will find it. After finishing that mission, we are now on to We Are Not Welcomed. Or We Are Not Welcome. As soon as you find the uh, campfire, you will find a deer trapped in, in a cage. So pretty much all you have to do is just rescue the deer and you get the achievement called The Rescue. Later on in the level, you will have to run across this long ass bridge. Once you get to the very end, a guy will blow the bridge up and you will fall down to the ground. Once you've done that, you would like to now continue forward until you see a fallen over 
tree. That goes up to the rock side. If you stay to the right side, and then you'll find a little gap with a lonely tree down there, or grass. But yeah, once you are down here long enough, um, a new task comes up. Gotcha, huh? Then once you get that, and then you press F to get back out, and then you get the developer's trap. In the same location, this time now, we're going to go up the uh, fallen down tree. Once we climb up, we need to climb up a bit further than this. I went the wrong way. So just ignore this part. So if we climb a bit further and just keep looking to the right, hopefully you should notice this um, outside here, little doorway or entrance place. Once you go round back, you will find a table with a lamp located. There will be a police badge. This is the achievement for cave. A snowy night in the city. Once you get to the train, you have to jump on it. Once you jump on the train, it will give you a choice, yes or no. I picked no. Um, I didn't try saying yes. I'm not sure that what will happen. Once you uh, get teleported into the city, all you have to do is run directly straight. So run across the road and keep heading straight. You will go past the hotel building and you'll find a garbage truck to the left slightly and a forklift truck. If you go behind the forklift truck, you will find the toy train. And this will give you the train achievement. The next level, you got caught. From the starting location of the taxi once you leave. This one is story related, the area that you have to go to anyway. So you can't really go wrong as such. So once you go down through these alleyways, you'll find a, a colourful door. Oh, it comes at the wall. Turn left and go through this very small gap. You have to come through this way anyway, it's part of the story. Once you jump over the barrels and you'll go through a corner to the right and you'll find some boxes. Jump on the boxes, jump over two more fences. Once you jump over the second one, you want to turn right and you should hopefully see the garbage truck. Don't go over the next fence or else you can't come back. At the back side of the uh, garbage truck, you will find these police badges which will give you the achievement called Streets. Once you have taken in by the policeman, um, the car blows up or something happens, I can't remember exactly. And you have to um, search for the key because you're handcuffed at the moment. Please make sure you search the passenger police officer first to get this um, police badge. If you don't search the police guy in the passenger side, the game will continue on and then that means you've got to do the whole level again. Once you've done that, then speak or then search the other officer to get the key. The house where he was killed. At the site and location of this area, you want to stay to the right side. I wouldn't say say far, far right. It just keep going right, right as much as you can. So as soon as you start, look right, it's straight, pretty much. You know if you're going the right way, because you'll see some rocks. Well, there's actually rocks everywhere. But then you'll see two barns, and there's a lonely tree in the middle, or in between them two barns. As soon as you pick the plant or eat the uh, fruit on the uh, tree, you'll get poisoned. This may take up to about 30 seconds to a minute before you actually go unconscious to get the achievement. That's pretty simple. Once you see the black smoke thing goes from right to left, there will be a big house to the right side. I was trying to show you guys, um, you see a house, but I had to go a bit further forward, but I didn't. So you don't follow the main track, but that's where the house is located, the big house. We don't have to go in there, but there's a house there. If you follow the rock side and head straight. So once the rock side ends, uh, you want to keep heading straight until you hit the next set of rocks. And if you keep looking left, you'll find a small opening in the rocks. If you go in, you will find the police badge on the table. This will give you the achievement called Mysterious Place. Once you get to um, the house, you will speak to your good old buddy. Choose the option Kill. 
to get the bad ending. After the sequence, um, he will actually kill you and then you get the tune. Необычное ощущение. The nest. This is at the very end of the level, so once you push down this massive tree log to make a platform so you can get across. Pretty much all you have to do is head directly straight. Don't turn left, don't turn right, don't go backwards, just head straight. If you go left, you will end the level. I found this out. If you go to the very end, you will find the treasure. The invasion. Once you um, leave the outside world and go into the cave section, you will find a waterfall. You've got two choices to go left or right. If you head left, there will be a dead end, but at this dead end, you'll find a lost toy one of three. This is the toy tank. Once you leave and get back outside again, and then you need to find a key to continue on. You will find some red flares, so follow the flares. There will be a path going left or right. You want to go right and follow the next flare. And then pick up the tank. Eventually, once you magically heal yourself, once you get on this platform, there will be two ways, left or right. Head left, follow the dead end, or get to the dead end, sorry, not follow it. Once you get there, you will find the toy tank located on the floor. This will be the lost toys achievement. The last two achievements to get the 100%. Once you get to the very end, you have to play this level twice, just to be warned. There will be an option at the very end of the game to kill the creature or shoot the artifact. So of course, I kill the creature to get the alternate ending. And then once you do it again, you want to shoot the artifact to get the true ending. So that is pretty much it. I'm not going to speak, guys. So if this helps, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys and girls later.